3.3a, general linear equations, variable on both sides. When solving an equation, we want the variable on one side. If the variable is on both sides, we will move the smaller one by either adding or subtracting. As you can see in example one, the variable is on both sides. There is a 5x on the first side and a 9x on the second side. We choose to move the smaller variable first. If we look at the two variables, the smaller of the two would be the 5x. Remember, to move something that is positive, we must do the opposite and subtract 5x from both sides. In doing so, 5x minus 5x is zero. We don't actually need to write this zero, so we leave it out. This gives us seven equals 4x minus 2. Remember, drawing a dotted line may help to ensure that you do things to both sides. At this point, it now looks like a one-step equation that we have seen before. Remember, in the normal two-step equations, we always do adding and subtracting before multiplying and dividing. This means we need to add 2 to both sides, giving us 4x equals 9. Then we can get rid of the multiplication of the 4 by dividing both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, which we write as x, and 9 divided by 4 has to stay 9 fourths as it does not divide equally. 9 fourths is our answer. If we did this same problem and instead of choosing the smaller x to move, we accidentally chose the larger x, we could still get the same answer. I will illustrate this process by rewriting the problem. 5x plus 7 equals 9x minus 2. As you can see, this is the same as the problem we just solved. If instead I chose to move the 9x, I would first need to have my dotted line, and then I would subtract 9x from both sides. Remember, you're always doing the opposite, so if something is a positive or added, you subtract it. This then would give you negative 4x plus 7 equals negative 2. Next, you would need to get x alone. To do this, you do order of operations backwards by subtracting 7 from both sides giving you negative 4x equals negative 9. Now you can do multiplication step because the negative 4 is being multiplied by x, so you do the opposite and divide both sides by a negative 4. You now have x equals a negative divided by a negative, remember, is a positive. Therefore, we have 9 fourths. As you can see, it does not matter which way you choose, you will get the same answer. But as you can also see, by choosing to move the larger number, we ended up needing to divide by a negative. In order to avoid this, we move the smaller one or the 5x, and then when you divide, you never have to worry about dividing by the negative. Example 2 also includes variables on both sides. As you can see, there is a negative 6x on one side and a 2x on the other. We need to move the smaller one to the other side. But remember, as shown in example 1, 
it does not matter which you move, as you will still get the same answer, though moving the smaller does make the problem easier. So, the smaller of these two numbers seems as if it would be the two, but in reality, a negative number is smaller than a positive number. Therefore, negative 6x is actually the smaller number. Therefore, we add 6x to both sides. In doing so, we get 1 equals 8x minus 12. At this point, we now need to get x alone by doing order of operations backwards. We add 12 to both sides. We now have 13 equals 8x. At this point, we now have the x being multiplied by 8. To undo this, we do the opposite and we divide by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1x, which we write as x equals 13 does not divide evenly by 8, so we write 13 eighths. And the answer is x equals 13 eighths. Whenever you encounter an equation that has variables on both sides, remember the very first step is to get the variables on the same side. It is easiest to move the smaller variable, but as you saw in example one, moving either variable will get you to the same answer.